Hey, how's it going guys? So in this video, we're going to take a look at how to detect handwritings in an image. So here I have three images. For image number one, I have a resume that I downloaded from, uh, from Google search. And this is an image, so you cannot uh, highlight the text or uh, copy and paste. And we have uh, the person's um, title, uh, job title and emails, phone number, and so on, and as well as the work experience. And for the next image, so I have a, a personal handwritten notes, send you guys for watching and followed by my name. And the last image is another uh, image that I download from Google. And this note says, uh, you remember things better when you write them down by hand. And here's why. Now let's go ahead and open your uh, Python editor. And to start, I'm going to create two variables, one for the folder path and one for the image. Image file. So we're going to start with the resume. So here the name of the resume is sample underscore resume dot PNG. And here I'm going to concatenate these two variables using the os.path.join to create an actual uh, file path. And next, we need to uh, open the file as binary. And I'm going to name the file as uh, image file. And here I'm going to uh, store the binary uh, information to a content object. And lastly, we're going to construct the image object using the vision.types.image constructor. And here the print is content and want to provide a content object. And here I'm going to create a response object. So from the client uh, instance. And we're going to use the document underscore text underscore detection. And I want to provide the image parameter with the image object. Now let's just go ahead and run this batch of code right here. And I'm going to print the response object. So this is what we get, uh, just a bunch of text. And the main thing I want to focus on is the text, the text uh, elements and the confidence and different blocks. So if we go to a task, so yeah, so the JSON response is a bit long. Um, but anyway, I'm going to create a variable called uh, docs text. And from the response object, I'll use the full text annotation method and I'll grab the just the text. And here if I just print the doc text and that should give me uh, all the text. Oops. Um, let me see for annotation for text annotation dot text. Oh, so here the typo. Uh, a N N O T A T L. Okay, so it should be good. So if I just print the doc text variable, and this is what the the text looks like. So here we have the. So let me open the image. So here we have um, this person's name. Jan Rowe, and he's, uh, she's a business development manager. So I have business development manager. And we also have uh, a very brief summary of this person's um, history. And the M, I don't know where the M coming from, is coming from. But we have the, the uh, so I think this may be like a watermark somewhere. But anyway, we have the, the, this person's email address, phone number, and the city that where he or she lives. And oh, 
Okay, so here's the linking profile. So uh, you recognize the linking's logo as ink. Um, yeah, so I mean, it's basically everything. And oh, and also, I also want to point out that the bullet point. So one thing pretty neat about the the uh, Vision API is that you also recognize different bullet point symbol. So here you can see that uh, we have from the uh, job description, I mean, from the experience uh, description, and it basically uh, prints a bullet point one by one uh, as exact uh, bullet point. Now let's move on to the next image. So let me close these. And so here, let me grab the the handwritten notes uh, image file. So let me clear everything and I'll run this batch of code right here. And here's the, <clears throat> so here are the texts. And if I just open the image, so here uh, we we'll get remember since better when, so you didn't recognize the W, uh, hand, you write them down by hand. And here's why. Overall, the result is pretty good. And the last text, so the the last image will be the notes that I wrote. Uh, so let's try it. Uh, let me clear out the terminal. Okay, so I mean, it didn't re -rec well, it recognized my handwriting. Uh, because I wrote everything as uh, uppercase. So here, oops. So I didn't write the Y uh, very nicely, uh, I guess, for watching, W-A-T-C-H. And I guess uh, the E that I wrote is a little bit, uh, much more like a Z. But yeah, so I mean, this is pretty good in my opinion. Now let's move on to the next part. So I want to show you the confidence uh, element. And if you have a long list of text, so the API is going to store them into different pages. So let me take the response uh, object. And let me grab the full text annotation method. And we'll do, uh, we'll store the pages uh, result to the page, uh, actually pages uh, variable. And let me print the pages variable. And to put everything together, so here I can do a loop. So for page in pages. And for block in pages.blocks. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to print the block confidence. And next I'm going to reiterate each paragraph uh, for waiting each block. Let me take a look. Okay. And I'm going to print the uh, paragraph confidence. And actually, let me clear the terminal real quick. And next, I'm going to print uh, each word within a paragraph. And I'm going to join all those words together. So within each word, there are symbols. And here I'm going to say for a uh, symbol in. So I'll replace the for in. And I'll print the 
uh, the text from the symbol. Okay, that looks pretty good. And here I'm going to print the text. And followed by the confidence. And lastly, I'm going to print the symbol. So format, I want to provide a symbol text and symbol confidence. And if I just run uh, line 22 to line 36, and let's sort of get So here's a typo. Uh, oh, confidence. Now let me try again. For the first element, we have the block confidence, which is 95 almost 96 percent. So that means uh, the Google version uh, has 96 confidence level, and for the paragraph confidence, so we have 90 almost almost exactly the same uh, number. And I guess because from the image that I provide. And this only one paragraph. So let me use the resume.png. And to this point. Now if I rerun this batch right here. Okay, so I think this time is a little bit better. So let's take a look. Let me move this to somewhere else. Uh, so yeah, so the, the result got cut off just because there are way too many uh, tags. So this is everything in this video. And for the next video, I'll be uh, going over the crop hands uh, method.